Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy, Roth. You know, the last show we did together, Candy, was Friday, July 23rd. Oh, that is a while ago. That is 10 days ago. What is today? August 3rd, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to call it 11 days. All if right, you... 11. Yeah, but yes, uh, it's been quite some time. Anytime something happens to me or I do something during that time, I say, hmm, should I write it down? Will I forget? Me too. There was something, and now I forgot. Right away. I'll get. I'll remember. I said, oh, this will be great for... For Fathead when I get back. Well, a lot has gone on. I took a, a vacation. You finally got your dog spayed. We got Did. plenty, and I'm sure a lot uh, of in-between. Um, first and foremost, Tilly is recovering. Yes, she's doing lovely. I know I was a crazy woman for probably no reason, but uh, she's healing beautifully. She's got her little... Uh, hoodie on uh, that you recommended the one that you blow up and it's fabulous thank you for turning me on to that because it's so much better than the other choices and yeah she's been a trooper and she's just adorable that's awesome uh yeah, her little she's got about a two inch incision i would say and it's healing up beautifully and uh in 10 days let's see what was it it was last the 30th of july so 10 days i'll take a picture of it send it to the vet and he'll let me know if she can uh, take the thing off her neck and they are dissolving stitches, I assume? Yes, dissolving stitches. They called. They've been great. Really great. Very, very nice. Very, kind and uh, treated her very, very well. Now, I am uh, – this, I swear, this is not a pat on the back. This is – I'm truly um, so happy that you went with my recommendation for the blow-up pillow. fabulous. So it's it looks like a life preserver, right? It does. It does. And it looks like she's ready to get on a boat. And and it allows her, at night when she sleeps, she rests her head on it, right? She does. She, you know, I think at this point she actually thinks this is permanent and she <laughs> likes it. Like she'll get down to let me put it on because, you know, we'll take it off when we go for a walk. Um, but, yeah, I don't take her on a walk with it. I let her have a few minutes of... Of freedom. Oh, that's fun. As long as she's not yeah. getting at the stitches, no, that's she fine. No, walking around. So, yeah, we have our walk, which she absolutely loves. And uh, it's been great. I feel so much better about everything. But, boy, we're we two hovering parents. You have no idea. Friday, we're hand-feeding her. <laughs> we're putting the fan on her. Made her scrambled egg. Don't ask what was going on here. Oh, my. Well... Yeah. A little bit of a difference with uh, since we're talking dogs, I'll 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 do that first. Uh, when I got back from vacation, and I still wanna I don't wanna gloss over it. I'll tell you about our our getaway. But oh yeah, I got back and our and by the way, this is not a knock on our uh, vet. We've had nothing but good experiences with our vet and our boarding. You know things happen, right? Um, we got back and since. Lucy, uh, Lucy and Millie came back uh, Friday. Since we got back, Lucy has had the runs, Candy. Uh oh. Yeah. So um, at first it looked like it was going to stop, but then it kept going. Then I called the vet yesterday. It was like three to four days, and there and and I wasn't concerned because she was still playing with Millie, running around. She had energy. It's not like she was laying there like right. a lump. She's uh, probably a nervous wreck you left her for so long. Well, uh, you know, the, the vet said give her, uh, there's three things, canned pumpkin, white rice, or pasta. Those three things should settle the stomach. Right. So we did some pasta. Dana made some pasta yesterday, and it seems to have helped a touch, like, it, it slowed down whatever she was doing. She still has a little issue, but we'll see. It's less Better. than it was. It's less yeah. than it was. So yeah. uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're watching her You don't her want any carefully. parasites, so make sure she gets well. Yeah, no. I mean, if, if she has another full day of that today. Like, you know what I'm hoping for today is she doesn't go to the bathroom. That would be my hope. Uh, you know right. what I mean? Like, like um, uh, and on the other end of that stick, yeah. I was very happy after uh, the next uh, day, Saturday, that uh, Tilly had a, a nice healthy poop. Very said, nice. Oh, she's okay. She's okay. Yes, she's fine. We're Every so up in it, aren't we? Yeah, we, <clears throat> we are up in it. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Oh, yeah. All right, we have a lot to get to. I do want to get to my vacation. I want to talk about something that came in the mail. 
that is very important to you. Oh. We will we will get to that. Um, I also want to mention, before we finish this segment, two things. The first is today is Dana's birthday. Oh, that's right. I wasn't sure if it was yesterday or today. Happy birthday, Dana. And thank you for wishing me a birthday on text, Candy. Of course. I would never forget you. Uh, the day Tilly got spayed was my birthday. So and I texted you very early in the morning because I was up. And then, um, of course, I texted you with some pictures of Tilly on her recovery on a family group text. Yes. I should be hearing back any day now about adding me to yours. <laughs> you are putting me on family texts. Yes, I, I have been on a few of those. Yes, yes. And I'm waiting for my turn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Keep waiting. And oh, my. Let me also mention that today... My in-laws should be arriving before we even get off the air. They're on their way, Candy. Now what? They are on, <laughs> they are on their way. What do you mean? They're staying with you. They're staying with the other one, the other child. Now, What's going on? They're, they're staying here. They're coming to town for a few days, and we'll see where uh, life takes us. I don't know what's happening. Well, I'll tell you what it's going to take you. It's going to take you to the hot tub. <laughs> uh, father-in-law will fix all your loose whatever's loose and needs mending and fixing because that's what he does. That's right. Mother-in-law will be in the kitchen doing her cutlets or whatever it is she does. What do you mean what's going to go on? I promise you, mother-in-law is not going to be making cutlets while she's here. No chance. Really? She said no cooking? I yeah, will not cook this time? She, you know, that really stopped a long time ago. She'll oh. cook. Now, with all due respect to her, she will cook like crazy at her house in Delaware. But well, she it makes sense. She's done. The only thing she makes here is coffee sometimes. That's about you it. You know what? I love it. Mother-in-law, yeah. I'm right there with you. Why should she cook? For you? you know that she practically raised your three children. Uh, oh, stop it. All right. So one of your dogs. Come mm-hmm. on. Uh, this woman's worked <laughs> very hard for you. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.